Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen. Welcome. One of the questions that I get asked the most frequently is what type of crystals should I be wearing? <laughs> what type of crystals should I be wearing that are the best for my energy? What type of crystals should I be wearing so that I can manifest certain things? And we can use numerology to help to determine what are the best crystals for you because everybody has a certain frequency and energy that they present. And there are certain crystals that are more in alignment with your energy and there are certain crystals that are more in alignment with your purpose right <laughs> what it is that you are trying to achieve in life what it is that you are here for what your purpose is on this planet we can use numerology to help to determine what crystals are best for you because based on the numbers in your chart there are certain crystals that have a similar frequency and a similar energy to yours. And so it's gonna be good for you to wear those crystals and they're gonna help you to become the best version of you that you can possibly become and achieve the things in life that you want to achieve. Basically, what I've noticed is that when you are wearing the right crystals, those crystals help you to move onto the more positive side of your number. And when you're on the more positive side of your number, then you can achieve the things in life that you want to achieve. And it's easier for you to manifest things and it's easier for you to live out your true purpose. And ever since I've started wearing the crystals that are in alignment with my energy, my life has completely changed and I've been able to manifest all kinds of things that I would have never been able to dream about, right? And they've really helped to move me onto the positive side of the seven energy. So I'm gonna show you today what crystals you should be wearing and are gonna be the best for you based on certain key numbers that you have within your chart. So we're gonna calculate those numbers right now. It's really easy. It only takes a few seconds. If you already know what your numerology numbers are, then you can go ahead and skip to that part of the video. I'll put the timestamp in the description box below. So I'm just gonna really quickly show you how to calculate these two numbers. And if you need a more detailed, slower explanation, you can check out videos that I've done on how to calculate these numbers. I will put links to them below in the description box. So to calculate your life path number, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the month, day, and year of your birth. You're gonna reduce each one of those to a single digit. So take the numbers in the month of your birth, add them together and keep adding them together until you get a single digit. Take the numbers in the day of your birth and add all of the numbers together and keep adding them together until you get a single digit. Then take the numbers in the year of your birth and keep adding all of those numbers together and keep adding them until you get a single digit. And then you're gonna take those three numbers that you got for the month, day, and year, and you're gonna add those together and keep adding the numbers together and reducing them until you get a single digit. And that's gonna be your life path number. Now, unless you get an 11, 22, or 33, you do not reduce those numbers. You do not add the two numbers together because those are master numbers. Now, if this is too complicated for you, you can always just take all of the numbers and add them straight across and keep reducing until you get a single digit. To calculate your soul urge number, you're gonna take the first, middle, and last name that was written on your birth certificate at the time of your birth or whatever name was written on there because some people do not have middle names. And using the Pythagorean number system, you're going to find all of the corresponding numbers to only the vowels in your name. Okay, only the vowels. And most of the time, I consider Y to be a vowel because most of the time, Y sounds like a vowel. If it sounds like a Y, yeah, then I wouldn't consider it to be a vowel. Okay, but most of the time, Y does sound like a vowel. So... Now you're going to take all the numbers that you got for the vowels in your first name and add all of those numbers together. Keep adding them together until you get a single digit. Take all of the numbers that you got for the vowels in your middle name and add them together. Keep adding them together until you get a single digit. Take all the vowels that you got for the numbers in your last name and add them together. Keep adding them together until you get a single digit. And then you're going to take those three numbers and add them together and keep reducing them, meaning keep adding them together until you get a single digit. 
and that's going to be your soul urge number. Unless you get an 11, 22, or 33, those are master numbers and you do not reduce them, meaning you do not add the two numbers together because they are master numbers. Now, if you've changed your name because you've gotten married or for some other reason, then sometimes there will be a shift in energy in this particular number. Not always, but sometimes I will see a shift in energy. So you can calculate the altered name for this particular number if you want. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be best for you if your life path number or your soul urge number is a number one. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, And also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them, okay? So setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is gonna be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay? So, and there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So I'm going to be recommending three crystals for the one energy. And whichever of those three crystals is going to be best for you will be based on what part of the one energy you need the most support with, right? So on the positive side of this number, one is the number of the leader, right? The person who does something first and then shows other people the way and shows other people how to do it. So these people are leaders of others. They're leaders of themselves and they're initiators. They're starters. So they need a crystal that will help to support them when it comes to taking on new things and being, you know, unique and original and brave, right? Because that is the energy of the number one. It's a very brave energy to be able to do something first or to, you know, to start something and to take a bold risk like that, right? Um, So the a really good um, crystal for this is going to be tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is a gem that's very powerful for First of all, it's great for prosperity, right? And it sharpens your inner vision and it empowers you with bravery and determination. So it's great for all of those things, prosperity, bravery, and to continue on, right? To continue on being determined and going for what it is that you want. Because ones can be very motivated, right? It's a highly ambitious kind of energy. They need a crystal that will help to support that. Tiger's eye is really good for that. And you people with the one energy, you guys know that you can sometimes be your own worst enemy, right? Where you can be, you guys are perfectionist and you guys are usually hold yourself to a really high standard. So you guys can be really critical of yourselves. And it's a very cerebral number. So you're always kind of in your head kind of processing things with this kind of energy. And 
the combination of being in your head all the time, right, and also being a perfectionist and being really critical of yourself, that can lead to a lot of negative thinking. So I recommend citrine for this because citrine is a great crystal to really help to improve your way of thinking and help you to become more positive. And it's also, um, it's known as the merchant stone. So it can be used to manifest your dreams and success and it attracts prosperity, happiness, wealth, and abundance. And the big one with this is it, it really does bring you, it raises your vibration by bringing you, your thoughts up to a much more positive level. And this can be great for ones because it really helps with the negative thinking that kind of hurts you guys and, and can be your own worst enemy. And I'll tell you from my own personal experience, I wear citrine myself. And ever since I started wearing it, <laughs> I mean, my life has changed completely. My thoughts are a thousand times more positive than they used to be. And my business started to explode ever since I started wearing this as well. So positive thinking and prosperity has been a huge thing that this crystal has helped me to bring in. Now, another crystal that's great for bringing in more opportunities, optimism, and perseverance, which are all energies that the people with the one energy will definitely need, is uh, green aventine. So green aventrine, some people say aventurine, <laughs> but uh, yes, green aventrine is going to be great for all of those things as well. So you will know which crystal is best for you out of these three that I just mentioned, because whichever one resonates with you the most, whichever one you are drawn to, that's going to be the one for you, right? For me, I was really drawn to citrine and there was something about citrine that I needed. So go with your intuition and whichever of these re really resonates with you the most, and that's going to be the crystal for you. And make sure to check out the crystals for both your life path and your soul urge number as well. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And I do spend a lot of time on these videos. They are a monster for me to make. <laughs> And if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithkarma.com. I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if your life path number or your soul urge number is a number two. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do wanna say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always wanna set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are gonna be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are gonna be wearing it. Um, and also it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them. Okay, so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts just to let you know, okay. And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. 
So I'm going to be recommending three crystals for the two energy and whichever one of those is best for you will be based on whichever part of the two energy that you need the most support with. And it's also going to be based on whichever crystal you resonate with the most as well. Okay, so if there's a crystal you're really drawn to, then that is the universe telling you that this is a crystal that you need. <laughs> so two is the number of partnership, right? It's the number of the team player, the person who is here to work in partnership with others and to basically learn how to balance their life and live a life of balance and harmony and peace. So... Black tourmaline is going to be the first crystal that I recommend for the two energy because you guys are super empaths, right? You're highly empathic because you guys are here to work in partnership with other people. You guys are ultra sensitive, meaning that you're, you're able to pick up on other people's energy and read other people's energy very, very easily, which makes you an empath. So black tourmaline is going to be a game changer for you. It's really going to help to protect you against other people's negative energy so that you're not just a sponge absorbing everybody else's energy all the time, right? <laughs> so this is going to give you great protection. Um, it's going to help to protect you from negative energy, keep your thoughts positive so that you're not feeling so much anxiety and feeling other people's energy and negative, you know, negative energy and mistaking it for your own, right? Because that happens a lot when you're an empath. You sense other people's negative energy and you think that that's your own energy, right? You feel like th those are your feelings just because you're around somebody who's negative. You start mimicking that, but it's actually that other person. So black tourmaline is a great crystal because it's very grounding and it will protect you basically from, it will basically protect that from happening to you. And it's very grounding as well. So because of this and because it protects your energy field from other people's, it will help you to not feel as much anxiety, right? And to not ha be so ultra sensitive. So this is one that I wear personally. It's been a game changer for me. And I wear this for my soul urge number. And I can still use it when I'm giving people readings. It's still, you know, I can still read people's energy. And, but in situations where I don't want to be doing that, <laughs> this protects me and it keeps me from feeling all the negative energy around me. So it really has changed my life. And I'm telling you this from my heart, you know, because this is something I tell my clients all the time when they book readings with me. Now, you can also get obsidian and onyx as well black onyx and black obsidian will have the same effect as black tourmaline now relationships and partnerships are going to be very important for people with the two energy because two is a number of partnership and teamwork right so finding love and keeping love is a big one that a lot of my clients with the two energy often come to me for so Rose Quartz is going to be great for that. It's really going to help you to, first of all, develop self-love within yourself, and then you just end up attracting in a love, right, outside of yourself as well through this crystal. So there can be a lot of self-healing and uh, focus on self-love using this crystal, but then it also helps to attract you know, a romantic love as well. And it also helps with improving relationships in general. So like all kinds of relationships. And relationships are going to be important to people with the two energy. Now, I also recommend Amzonite for number two because Amzonite really helps to soothe anxiety. Okay, so it really calms your nerves. It calms your anxiety, which twos can have, right? Because of you guys being so ultra sensitive and highly empathic. So it's a great soother and calmer. And it really brings a lot of peace and balance as well, which is something that you guys are working on. So now, like I said, whichever one of these crystals is good for you is going to be the one that you are drawn to. And that's going to be the best one for you. So let the universe guide you when it comes to this. And let me know in the comments below which one of these crystals resonated with you the most and which one you're planning to get or you already have. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. <laughs> And if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. 
So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if your life path number or your soul urge number is a number three. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month. To kind of just clear the energy from them okay so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important and these crystals they make great gifts just to let you know okay and there are multiple ways to use these crystals you can either wear them as jewelry such as on a bracelet or a necklace you could carry them around in your pocket with you you could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal which is very powerful but any way you choose to use the crystal it's going to have the same benefit and same effect and i personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com okay this is where i get my crystals and i know the owner of the shop personally and i know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell so if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them they are going to be giving you a discount right now use promo code carmen to receive a five percent discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop and this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the three energy and you'll know which crystal is best for you based on whatever issue with the three energy you need the most support with, right? And also whichever one resonates with you the most. That's going to be the universe telling you that this is the crystal that you need. <laughs> So three is a number of self-expression. So there is a need to express yourself when you have the three energy. And so this could be through something that is highly creative, right? It could be a, a very creative three, or it could be through oral communication. You could be the three that is just good at expressing yourself orally, right? So if you are a three that is more on the creative side and you want support with your creativity and your creative talents, helping to develop them and really just helping that area to blossom even more, then lapis lazuli is going to be what I recommend for you because lapis lazuli really helps to open your third eye. And through th opening your third eye, it really helps you to connect to the other dimensions and to channel creativity, right? So all that creativity that you're bringing into the world, you're channeling that, right? And opening your third eye is going to help you to channel that creativity even more. So lapis lazuli is going to be great for all of my threes that are on the creative side of this energy. So as I said, three is the number of self-expression. So if you're not a creative three, then you're either going to be a three that's either really good at giving your opinion about things <laughs> or a very communicative uh, social three that's good at communicating. So I recommend for these threes that need support in the area of communication, right? Either because you want to become a public speaker, you want to get onto social media, you want to do public speaking in that sort of arena, or because you fear putting yourself out there, right? This is the common with threes. There is a fear of rejection and criticism if you were to put yourself out there. So for those threes, 
I recommend that you get Aquamarine. Okay, Aquamarine is going to be a great crystal to really help open up your throat chakra and to really just help you to express yourself and communicate better so that there is no more fear of what other people think about you and you can just express yourself and without any fear and with the universe's support. And this will really help you to blow up if you want to become more of a public speaker and to become more public, right? This really helps to do that. And Aquamarine helps to keep your thoughts positive as well so that you're not so critical of yourself and you're in a more positive state of mind. It can be hard for threes, right? Because three is a number of happiness and joy, but on the negative side of the number, it's the opposite, which is depression. So this is a good crystal to help keep you more on the positive, optimistic side of the number as well. So let us know in the comments below which crystal resonates with you and which crystals you want to buy or you already have. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if either your life path or your soul urge number is a four. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them, okay? So setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is gonna be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay? And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the four energy. And you will know which crystal is best for you based on which issue with the four energy you might be needing support with. Also, you will know based on which crystal resonates with you, right? <laughs> that is the universe guiding you to let you know that that's the crystal that you need. So four is the number of stability, hard work, and achievement, right? Achievement through self-discipline, right? So you guys are achievers and you guys are hard workers and you're here to achieve things and achieve your dreams. And so the first crystal that I recommend to help you with this is carnelian. Okay, carnelian is a stone of action and it's great for boosting confidence and the motivation to strive and to attain your dreams, right? So when obstacles get thrown at your way, 
this crystal is really going to help to ground you and to really help you to keep going in the face of challenges and adversity so that you can keep going, keep focused, and eventually achieve your dreams, right? Because that's what the four energy is all about. And it does this by helping to open up that root base chakra, right? So the other crystal that is really going to help you to build a life of stability, right? Because that's what you're doing. You're working to build a life of stability for yourself. And the other one that will help you with that is Jade. Okay, Jade is called the lucky stone. It's a lucky green stone that attracts wealth, prosperity, and abundance. And it brings good fortune to all aspects of your life, right? So it helps you embrace a positive attitude and to envision new possibilities for the future. So this is really good at helping you to see the bigger picture too, right? Because sometimes with four, the four energy, you can you be very organized, right? But you can be focused on the little minor details. And this really helps to expand that within you, the ability to not only see the details, but also see the bigger picture too, which really helps to just bring in a lot of abundance and prosperity. And I've known a lot of people that have purchased this and it's brought in a lot of abundance and prosperity for them. So those two crystals are really going to help you to build a life of stability and prosperity for yourself, people with the four energy. Make sure to check out both your soul urge and your life path number crystals. And let me know in the comments below which crystal resonates with you and which crystals you have or you want to purchase. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get the information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. And I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. And thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if your life path number or your soul urge number is a five. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them, okay? So setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is gonna be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay? And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So there's going to be two crystals that I recommend for the five energy. And you will know which crystal you need based on which issue you need support with, right? And also which crystal resonates with you. Because that's the universe guiding you and telling you that's the crystal that you need. <laughs> So the first crystal I recommend is green aventrine. Some people say aventurine. Green aventrine is great for people with the five energy because five is the number of exploration and it's the number of using the five senses to experience the world, right? Experience the world through change, through 
movement through exploration. You guys can get bored really easily, right? <laughs> Especially if you're stuck in a rut. You guys need that mental stimulation. And aventrine brings in new opportunities. It's known as the new opportunity good luck stone. And it brings in adventure, right? So it's also known as the gambler stone. So aventrine is said to attract luck and wealth. And using aventrine during meditation can help you to attract what you desire. And the name of the stone comes from the Italian word vent. Ventura, right? Or meaning fortune. So it really helps to bring in a lot of adventure and it really helps to uh, calm anxiety as well in terms of your exploration of the world and any changes that come about, right? Fives often, you know, you guys go through a lot of change in your lifetime because five is a number of change. So this really helps with that. And the other crystal that I recommend for you guys is aquamarine because aquamarine is really good at opening up the throat chakra and really helps with uh, support your communication skills, right? Often you guys are, are good communicators or you go into professions in which you are self-promoting or doing promotion or using your communication skills in some sort of way. So aquamarine is a really good one to help with that, with supporting communication and self-expression. For all you communicative or promoter fives out there, now, five is one of those cerebral numbers that tends to be in their head a lot of the time as well, right? So uh, for, the, for those fives, I'm going to throw in citrine and recommend that for you because citrine really helps to, it helps to uh, vacuum up all the negative thinking so you can keep your thoughts positive for the fives that tend to be in their head a lot of the time. So don't forget to check out both your life path and your soul urge number and leave a comment below and let me know which one of these crystals resonates with you, which one you want to buy or which ones you already have. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to make. And if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. And I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about the crystals that are going to be the best for you if your life path or your soul urge number is a six. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them, okay? So setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is gonna be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay? And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. 
So I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the six energy, and you'll know which one is best for you based on which issue you need support with the most, and also based on which crystal resonates with you the most as well, right? If you really resonate with a crystal, then that's the universe telling you that this is the crystal that you need. <laughs> So six is the number of love, beauty, and responsibility in numerology. So people with the six energy often feel like they do have a lot of responsibility on their plate. And especially when it comes to relationships and family. So love is going to be important for people with the six energy. And so I recommend rose quartz for this because Rose Quartz really does help to improve relationships and it helps you to, first of all, improve the relationship you have with yourself so you can bring in a lot of self-love and self-healing and it also brings in romantic love as well. So it really helps you to bring in romantic love and to keep love and it helps to improve all of your relationships, which is all of that is going to be important for people with the six energy. And it's also a great crystal for beauty too, right? Because beauty on the inside and on the outside. This is really good at uh, bringing that in as well. Six is also the number of health and healing. So any sixes that are in healing or health professions or professions where you are helping other people or if you need support in this area, then Jasper is a great crystal for that. And I recommend getting Jasper because Jasper stimulates the circulation and energy flow. Basically, it fortifies your immune system and it has a detoxification and, and it has an anti-inflammatory effect. And it really has a healing effect on the body and can really help with diseases and disorders. And I also wanted to throw in there that for my highly creative or musical sixes, because some of you guys have a really good musical talent, Lapis Lazuli is really good for stimulating and opening the third eye, which helps with channeling and bringing in creativity. And for the sixes that are really trying to start a family and want to have children, Moonstone is really good at helping with fertility. And sorry, I don't have a picture of the Moonstone, but yes, Moonstone is good for that. And let me know in the comments below which one of these crystal resonates with you and which one of these you want to buy or you already have. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. These videos are a monster for me to put together. <laughs> if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be best for you if either your life path or your soul urge number is a seven. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them, okay? So setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is gonna be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay? And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. 
So that's cactusmoonco.com, and I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the seven energy and you'll know which crystal is best for you based on what you need support with and also based on what you resonate with, right? Because if you resonate with a crystal, that's the universe's way of telling you that you need you need that, right? <laughs> so seven is a very highly introspective energy, right? It's the number of going within. It's the inward journey. And so because it's a very introspective energy, sevens tend to be in their head a lot of the time, right? You guys are always thinking about things, processing things constantly, right? We are in our heads a lot of the time. I know because I'm a life path seven. So out of all of the numbers, this is the number that I resonate with the most. And like, I feel it, guys. I, I, feel, I feel what it's like to be a seven. Seven. And so us sevens, we need something that will help us to have more positive thinking, right? Because this overthinking of everything often leads to negative thoughts. So I recommend citrine because citrine is an amazing crystal that helps you to become more optimistic, right? It brings in happiness because it helps to make your thinking more positive. And it's known as the merchant stone, and it can be used to manifest your dreams and success, and it attracts in prosperity, happiness, wealth, and abundance. So it brings in a lot of abundance by raising your vibration, right? Increasing your positive thinking, and by increasing your positive thoughts, it helps to raise your vibration, which brings in a lot of abundance and prosperity. It's kind of like a vacuum cleaner because it just vacuums up all of the negative thinking. And I will tell you from my own personal experience that my life has changed a lot ever since I purchased this crystal. Ever since I started wearing it uh, consistently, and you will notice in a lot of my videos that I do wear this crystal very consistently. And it's really helped me to raise my vibration by making me more optimistic, which has brought in a lot of prosperity for me. And literally a week after I started wearing this crystal, that is when my business really started to take off. So <laughs> I'm just giving you my own personal experience with this crystal. It really does work. And um, so this is the crystal that I wear as a Life Path 7. For sevens that are trying to develop their psychic gifts and psychic abilities, right? Because like I said, seven is an introspective energy. So, you know, you guys have psychic abilities. Oh yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Even if they're latent and they're not being used, you have them. You have the ability to connect within to higher dimensions. So for the sevens that are working on this, um, amethyst is the crystal that I would recommend because amethyst really helps to open your crown chakra. It's an amazing crystal for opening the crown chakra and helping you to connect to source energy through doing this, right? And it's also really good at helping you to tap into your intuition as well. So let me know in the comments below what crystals resonate with you, what crystals you want to buy, and what crystals you already have. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. <laughs> And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be best for you if your life path or soul urge number is an eight. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number, and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them. Okay, so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts 
just to let you know, okay? And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the eight energy. And you will know which crystal is best for you based on what issue you need support with, as well as which crystal you resonate with, right? Because if you resonate with a crystal, that's the universe's way of telling you that you need that, right? So eight is the number of prosperity, abundance, and power. And so you guys need a crystal that's really going to help you guys to balance the physical and the spiritual world balance the two worlds together because once you learn how to do that then you can manifest things limit limitlessly right this is the number of manifestation so eights on the positive side of the number you need a crystal that will help to continue your prosperity and to make it even bigger right and eights that are on the negative side of the number struggling with this you guys need a crystal to bring you over to the positive side of the number so you can experience that prosperity that you were born to have now jade is going to be a great crystal for this and because jade is known as the lucky green stone and Throughout history, it's been known to attract wealth, prosperity, and abundance, and it brings in good fortune to all aspects of your life. It helps you to embrace a positive attitude and to envision new possibilities for the future. So it really helps you to develop your visionary skills, right? Eights are visionaries. You guys see the bigger picture of everything, and it really helps to support this and to bring that bigger vision and this bigger picture that you have into reality and to manifested into the physical world. So Jade is really going to help you to balance your physical and your spiritual worlds together. Now the other crystal that can help you to do this is Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye is another gem for prosperity. So it sharpens your inner vision and it empowers you with bravery and determination. So Tiger's Eye is also a great one for bringing in more prosperity and to help you to take those big risks that you got you eights often are encouraged by the universe to take right so remember to check out your life path and your soul urge number for these crystals and let me know in the comments below which one of these crystals resonates with you which one you want to buy and which ones you already have let us know in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people it really helps to get this information out there when you do that and these videos are a monster for me to put together <laughs> if you want to get a personal reading with me you can head on over to my website starsalignwithcarmen.com i would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family thanks for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video take care so let's talk about what crystals are going to be good for you if your life path or your soul urge number is a nine. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just 
clear the energy from them. Okay, so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay. And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the nine energy. And you'll know which one is good for you based on what you need support with, as well as which crystal resonates with you, right? Because if you're resonating with a crystal, then that's the universe trying to tell you that you need that, right? So nine is the last number, and so it represents the world. And it's the number of doing something big in the world or doing something that has an impact in the world. A lot of nines are empaths, right? Because you guys have a humanitarian streak within you wanting to help the world, right? So, so nines are highly empathic because of this. And you guys are very ultra sensitive and you guys are picking up on energy all the time, even if you don't even realize it. So one of the crystals that I recommend for you is going to be black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is a very grounding crystal that will help to protect your energy from other people's, right? You need to have empathy in order to help people and to help the world, but it should there should be a boundary to where it's not affecting you negatively, right? And the black tourmaline really does help to do that. It helps to create a barrier between you and other people so that you can still sense other people's energy and read other people's energy, but it's not affecting you in a negative way. And I wear black tourmaline and it's been a game changer for me as an empath. And I don't have as much anxiety when I go into situations and when, when I'm around certain people. It really does help. And now black tourmaline is going to be great for this, but also black onyx and black obsidian are also going to be very protective crystals that I recommend for highly empathic people like you as well. For nines who want to make an impact on the world through either being highly spiritual or highly creative, I recommend Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli is a great crystal to help open your third eye and activate your third eye. And through activating and opening your third eye, you will be able to channel source energy more directly, right? So you can use that energy to help in your spiritual practice for those of you who want to become mediums or develop psychic abilities. And for the nines who want to impact the world through creativity, right? Because nine can be a very creative number, right? It's one of Tesla's numbers, right? Three, six, nine. <laughs> so for those nines, lapis lazuli helps to open the third eye, which really helps you to channel source energy for your creativity, right? The creativity that is channeled directly through source energy, and this helps to do that. And I don't have a picture of it here, but I also wanted to mention that for the nines that are working on healing past trauma, because nines often do have a lot of past trauma, rhodonite is really good for that. And it's also good if you are in a healing practice and helping other people to heal. So let me know which crystals resonate with you and which, which crystals you want to buy, which crystals you already have. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to check out your life path and your soul urge number as well. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. <laughs> if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.
So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if your life path or soul urge number is a master 11. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month. To kind of just clear the energy from them okay so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important and these crystals they make great gifts just to let you know okay and there are multiple ways to use these crystals you can either wear them as jewelry such as on a bracelet or a necklace you could carry them around in your pocket with you you could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal which is very powerful but any way you choose to use the crystal it's going to have the same benefit and same effect and i personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com okay this is where i get my crystals and i know the owner of the shop personally and i know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell so if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them they are going to be giving you a discount right now use promo code carmen to receive a five percent discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop and this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So there's going to be three main crystals that I'm recommending for the Master 11 energy. And you'll know which crystal is best for you based on what issue you need support with. And also based on which crystal resonates with you. Because if you resonate with a crystal, that's the universe telling you that you need that crystal, right? <laughs> so people with the 11 energy can have very challenging lives, right? <laughs> a, because you're a master number and B, because 11 is the conduit, right? It's the conduit between the two worlds. If you look at it, look, it looks like a little doorway between the spiritual world and the physical world. So your whole entire life, you are a conduit for very intense energy. <laughs> and a lot of times you don't realize this, right? Until you kind of fall into numerology and then you kind of figure out what's going on. <laughs> so because you are a conduit for higher, more intense energy, your life often will be challenging as an, as an 11. And you guys are kind of like the rising phoenix, right? You guys go through a lot and you're always able to pull yourself out of the ashes. The first crystal I recommend for you is malachite because malachite really is great for helping to support you with this. So if you are kind of down, malachite will support you and will help you to rise out of the ashes like you guys are so good at doing. And it's a very grounding crystal that's really good for helping you to move on to the positive side of this number and to become the masters of manifestation, which you guys were born to be, right? And to start manifesting in this physical world through you being the conduit energy. So malachite is great for manifesting prosperity and abundance by basically helping to pull you out of the ashes as the rising phoenix energy. Now... I also recommend for 11s that want to develop their psychic and spiritual gifts and talents because, right, you go, like I said, you're the conduit between the two worlds. So it's 11s often want to do this and you guys often were born to do this, right? So <laughs> the first crystal I recommend for this is going to be clear quartz because clear quartz really does help to amplify psychic abilities, Whatever psychic abilities you have, it's going to help to amplify that and really to... Um, cleanse the energy around you so that you can connect more strongly. So clear quartz is the first one I recommend for you. And then I'm also going to add in, because I know a lot of you 11s want to develop these psychic and mediumship skills that a lot of you are born with, right? And so 
Um, Amethyst is going to be really good at opening your crown chakra and helping you to connect to source energy through the crown chakra. And Lapis Lazuli is going to be a great crystal for you to open up your third eye and to connect to source energy through the third eye. And of course, you guys have a lot of the two energy too because... Right. If you add the two ones together, you get a two. So you guys are super empathic too on top of that, <laughs> where you are reading people's energy and you are always going to be a sponge for the energy in the environment around you. So I recommend black tourmaline for this because it protects you and it's a very grounding energy and it protects your energy field from other people so that you're still able to read people's energy, but it's not affecting you in a negative way. 11 is my soul urge number. So I wear one crystal from my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. And this is what I wear for my soul urge number. And it's been a game changer for me as an empath. It's really helped to make it so that I don't have as much anxiety anymore. And I'm not feeling as many negative thoughts and emotions because, you know, I used to mimic other people's negative emotions and thoughts without even realizing it. But black tourmaline has really changed all of that for me. And I will say that um, black onyx and black obsidian are also really good crystals for this as well. So if you can't find black tourmaline, black onyx and black obsidian are going to be great for that. Now, I did want to throw in one more crystal for the 11s <laughs> because, you know, some of you are you're not scared to take your spirituality to higher levels, right? Like you guys don't have that fear. So for the 11s out there that want to take their spirituality like to an even greater level, I would say um, that a really great crystal for you to get is going to be called um, Moldavite, okay? And I don't recommend this for all the numbers, but I think you guys can handle the intensity of Moldavite, probably better than some of the other ones. So if you really want a, a big spiritual awakening, which a lot of 11s do, Moldavite is going to be a great crystal for that. And I don't have a picture of Moldavite here with me in this video because I kind of just threw it in at the end. <laughs> what you're seeing here is Malachite. So anyways, let me know in the comments below what crystals resonate with you, what crystals you want to buy, what crystals you already have, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to check out your soul urge and your life half numbers. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. <laughs> if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. And I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if your life path or soul urge number is a master 22. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so... I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight. And you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them. Okay, so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay. And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, 
And I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com, and I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So I'm going to be recommending two crystals for the Master 22 Energy, and you'll know which crystal is best for you based on what you need support with and based on what you resonate with, right? Because if you're resonating with a crystal, it's because the universe is telling you that that crystal would be really helpful to you. Okay, so, so 22 has a lot of the two energy because if you look at it, it's got two twos. It's got a lot of the four energy as well, right? Because if you add the two twos together, you get a four. It's a variation of the number four. So let's talk about the crystal I'm recommending for the two energy first. Two is a very ultra sensitive, highly empathic energy. So you guys are super empaths. You can read people's energy. You're picking up on other people's energy when you go into rooms and in, in environments. Sometimes you will mimic other people's energy and there's not always a boundary between your energy field and other people's. So other people's energy can highly affect you in many ways. And for this, I recommend black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is a very grounding crystal that really pro provides a protective shield around you and other people so that you are not picking up on, basically you're not picking up on energy that you don't want to be picking up on, right? So you can still read people's energy with while wearing this, but it's not going to be affecting you negatively, where you're not going to be feeling the negative feelings of other people, basically. And I wear black tourmaline and it has been a game changer for me. And you can also wear black onyx and black obsidian those will have the same as effect as well as black tourmaline now 22 is the number of the master builder and you guys have got that four energy within you which is all about building solid stable foundations right so four is a very achievement energy it's all about working hard and achieving your goals and for this i recommend carnelian right because carnelian is a stone that helps you with action. It's very good at boosting your confidence and motivation to strive to attain your dreams. So it helps you to keep going and to keep achieving in the face of obstacles. And it helps to lessen the energy of those obstacles so that you can face them with confidence knowing that you, know, you can uh, keep going and you can achieve your dreams. And you guys can be very hardworking, dedicated, and focused on the positive side of this number. And this crystal helps to support that and to move you on to that side of the number. And you guys are a master number. You've had to overcome a lot of challenges throughout your life, to say the least, right? <laughs> this crystal helps you to continue to do that. So let me know in the comments below which one of these resonated with you, which one you already have, or which crystals you wanna buy. And let us know in the comments below. Make sure to check out your life path and your soul urge number. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get this information out there when you do that. And these videos are a monster for me to put together. <laughs> if you want to get a reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and to become part of the family. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So let's talk about what crystals are going to be the best for you if your life path or soul urge number is a master 33. Okay, so either of those will apply to you. And personally, I wear one crystal for my life path number and I wear one crystal for my soul urge number. Okay, so I would recommend checking out both of those because either one of them will apply to you. Now, when it comes to these crystals, I do want to say beforehand that when you purchase them, you always want to set the intention, right? When you buy it, set the intention, tell the universe why you are going to be wearing that crystal, right? Why you are purchasing it or why you are going to be wearing it. Um, and also, it's important to cleanse your crystals as well. So cleansing them by either putting them in the sunlight or putting them in the moonlight 
and you want to do this like either once a week or once a month to kind of just clear the energy from them. Okay, so setting in the intention for the crystals and cleansing them is going to be very important. And these crystals, they make great gifts, just to let you know, okay. And there are multiple ways to use these crystals. You can either wear them as jewelry, such as on a bracelet or a necklace. You could carry them around in your pocket with you. You could get a water bottle that has a crystal inside of it that will infuse the water that you put in it with the energy of the crystal, which is very powerful. But any way you choose to use the crystal, it's going to have the same benefit and same effect. And I personally get my crystals from a shop online called cactusmoonco.com. Okay, this is where I get my crystals. And I know the owner of the shop personally, and I know that they put a lot of blessings and positive energy into all of the crystals that they sell. So if you want to head on over to that shop to buy them, they are going to be giving you a discount right now. Use promo code CARMEN to receive a 5% discount on any products with crystals that you buy within the shop. And this discount is for a limited time only. So that's cactusmoonco.com. And I will put all of the information for that in the description box as well. And like I said, these make great gifts for people also. So for Master 33, I'm going to be recommending two crystals. And you'll know which crystal is best for you based on what you need support with. And based on what you resonate with too. Because if you're resonating with a crystal, that's the universe's way of telling you that that crystal could really help you, right? <laughs> so I'm going to be recommending one crystal for the 3 energy and one crystal for the 6 energy. Because if you look at 33, it's got a lot of the 3 energy, right? It's got two 3s in it. So, but it's also got a lot of the 6 energy too because 3 plus 3 is 6 so 33 is actually a variation of the number 6. So for the 3 energy I'm recommending a crystal that will really help you to channel your creativity even more right. You guys are a creative channel. You are highly creative people and you're always channeling that creativity in different forms and this crystal will really help you to amplify that and accelerate that and support that energy. And that's going to be lapis lazuli because lapis lazuli really helps to open the third eye chakra, which helps to just intensify a lot of that energy that you're channeling for, you know, your creativity. And it just helps you to become even more creative. So, and then for the sixth energy, I'm going to be recommending Jasper, right? Because Jasper is a great stone for healing. And part of the mission that you guys have here is to be healers, right? You guys are, you guys are the creative healers. So you're, you know, you have this healing purpose on this planet and you have this healing energy, even if you don't realize this. So part of what you're here to do is to heal yourself. And in the process of doing that, healing other people, right? And of course, by using your creativity to do this. So Jasper really does support healing of on all levels it helps you to heal yourself and it helps with aiding the healing of others it will help to aid in the healing of physical ailments such as diseases and disorders within the body and it also helps with the with aiding in the healing of energy to energy healing and um, healing of the chakras as well and the chakra system so jasper is going to be great for that and let me know in the comments below which one of these crystals resonates the most with you and which crystals you already have or which crystals you want to buy let us know in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people it really helps to get this information out there when you do that and these videos are a monster for me to put together so, and if you want to book a reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and become part of the family. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.